Tanze, Wild Killer here. Today we are back with the Garns fan fiction. We're reading chapter 10. Chapter 10 is called Walk in the Park. We're starting with Lawrence's point of view, but before we start this, I'm going to warn you. It has the topic of cutting in this, so if you don't like the topic, don't bother listening. Or continue if you want to. It's up to you. Anyway, Lawrence's point of view. As we were walking in the park, it was not that quiet, but there was a nice breeze. I looked over at Garth, whom was smiling as we as he walked, then looked back ahead. It was nine o'clock at night. Me and Garth held hands as we walked. It sure is quiet uptown, Garth said. Yes, love, I replied. I have a question for you, I said. That's when Garth stops walking and looked at me. What, what, what question? He asked. Mind to tell me why this was under your pillow? I asked, holding the knife. His eyes widened. H- how did it? I interrupted him. I was making your bed, and I saw it, I said. He then looked down in shame. Garth, what did you do with this knife? I asked again. I saw he was about to tear up. L- Lawrence, I'm so s- sorry, he said, while hugging me tight. I was confused. Sorry for what? I asked. He looked at me. He was now crying. I, I cut cut myself w- with that knife. That one day after the, the party, I freaking cut myself, Lawrence. That's what I, I was doing in my room. See? He then revealed the cuts on his arm. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I started to tear at myself. G- Garth, wh- why? I asked. He didn't answer. I hugged him tight. I dropped the knife, though. I didn't want to end up stabbing him in the back of I didn't. My, my poor little gargar. N- never do this ever again. Do you understand me? I yelled my eyes. G- yes, Lawrence. I uh, understand, he said. G- good. I then wiped the tears on his eyes, and I wiped my own tears. L- let's just continue walking, I said. He nodded. Then we started to walk again, but I picked up the knife and put it in my back pocket to put away later as we were walking again it became silent me and me nor garth talked i took a glance over at him he was no longer smiling well duh who would at a conversation we just had then i looked ahead i remembered promising that night i will start protecting garth that was the end of the chapter what's gonna happen next we won't know till the next chapter see you guys in the next chapter or next video probably next chapter anyway see ya